Hello, our most valid student. My name is Confident. Welcome to our session. In this particular session, I wanted to bring to you the derivation of the basic tricks. And the first one is how do you derive that 10 theta is equal to sine theta over cos theta. And the second one is how do you derive that sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is equal to 1. Now remember, before we begin our lesson, to subscribe to our channel if this is the first time seeing our channel and you can also press the like button and every time we post a new video you will be notified of these videos and also you can share this channel to your friends and your colleagues so that they can also benefit from the channel now getting back to the lesson the first one that i want to look at is how do we derive that tan theta is equal to sin sine theta or sin theta of cos theta now let us do that now let me lay a few foundations here and i'm going to start by using the trig ratios so if i have this triangle remember um we are dealing with right angle triangles so if i have actually let me draw this on a cartesian plane so if I have this triangle like this on a Cartesian plane, just to have more space. Let's say I have a triangle like this on a Cartesian plane, which is my y-axis and this is my x-axis. And I have a, a triangle like that. And in this particular triangle, um, just to quickly draw it like this so this is the triangle that I have and this triangle has got O A and B now in this triangle the angle formed between the x-axis and the line OA we'll call that line theta and using our trick ratios now remember we have got um three trick ratios the trick ratios of um according to soccer toya if i can write that so car toya okay so this is what we have now in actual fact it's if you can use again the division line there so what does it say according to soccer toya sine theta is equal to O stands for opposite over H stands for hypotenuse and then cos theta is equal to A stands for adjacent side over uh, H stands for hypotenuse and tan theta is equal to O stands for the opposite side over H I mean A stands for the adjacent side so these are the trick ratios that we are having now I'm going to write these trick ratios just before uh, I write them also or express them in a different way let me go back to my triangle and in this particular triangle um, this distance O A if I was to do a circle like this, uh, maybe, now pretend this was a circle like this. Of course, it is not drawn to scale. So pretend this was a circle and you can see that the distance OA is called the radius. I think you are seeing that. So this is the radius of that circle. So if I can use that um, info to say pretend that was a circle and this is the radius. So this R here is the radius and along the Y axis. So this will be Y and along the X axis, this will be X. Are you getting that? So this triangle has got R, Y and X. So again, I need to identify which one is my opposite side in this triangle. Now you can see that y is equal to opposite and x is equal to adjacent because there is the 90 degrees there. So these two sides are adjacent to each other and r there is the hypotenuse. So these are the sides of this triangle. So if I can express these sides in terms of x, y and r, 
Now the opposite will be y over the hypotenuse will be r cos theta. The adjacent is x over the hypotenuse is r tan theta. The uh, opposite is y over the adjacent is x. So these are the basic things that you need to remember. So I've got this triangle which is named after that. Now when I have done that, so this is the part that now uh, brings everything together. The first thing first is if I say sine theta, uh, let me use a different uh, pen here. If I say in my, um, to say sine theta over cos theta, this is equal to now sine theta, remember in terms of y and r, this is my sine theta. It is y over r divided by cos theta, which is that, which is x of r. Now, this is equal to y over r divided. I'm using that sign divided by, actually here, it's over r divided by x over r which is equal to y over r. Now from divided, I'm going to say times. Now if I say times, this part, remember, after multiplying, changing from division to multiplication, you invert this part whereby the r goes to the top and the x goes down. So what you're now going to have is times r over x. So here I'm mixing things here. We say it, it is y over r, and then it is y over r now times the uh, the other side now is r over x. So that what, that's what we are having now. Therefore, this is equal to when you cancel the r, you are going to be left with this is one, this is one. So you are going to be left with y times one, which is y over. 1 times x, which is x. Now, this is, therefore, it means, if you write it here, it means, if you look at it now, it means sine theta over cos theta is equal to the answer that we got here, which is y over x. Now, if you come back to the 10 theta here, you'll see that 10 theta is opposite of adjacent, which is also y over x. So look at the comparison there. So y over x, therefore, this is also equal to 10 theta. So therefore, we can conclude that this is an identity that you need to therefore know. We can conclude that 10 theta is equal to sine theta over cos theta. So that is the first thing that you need. Uh, the proof of sine theta is equal to cos theta. All right, having done that, let me take you back again to, um, if I can quickly erase this part, let me take you back again to the one, the second derivation Remember, secondly, we said you need to derive uh, from here what we're having. We want to derive the second one now, which says uh, sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is equal to 1. So how do you do that? Using the same information that we're having here and the triangle that we're having, this is OAB. Now, in this particular triangle, remember, the basic thing is also the Pythagoras theorem or the theorem of Pythagoras, which says r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. This is the theorem of Pythagoras when you're given a triangle which is uh, drawn here like this. So in this triangle, we say this is theta, this is O, this is A, this is B. This is y, this is x, that is 90 degrees, and that is r. So that's what you're having. r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. So with that theorem of Pythagoras, if then I say in this case, 
I want us to uh, come back and say if I have sine squared theta plus cos squared theta what does this simplify to so now sine squared if I go back to in terms of what I have here now sine squared is opposite of hypotenuse but in terms of y x and r it is y of r squared plus now cos squared is the next one here which is x over r but remember it's sine squared so you put it under squared if you simplify that one it will be equal to now y squared you open that bracket over r squared plus x squared over r squared if you continue common denominator there is r squared so what you have is r squared as the common denominator using fractions r squared into r squared is 1 times the top which is y squared plus r squared into r squared is 1 times the top which is x squared and then when you continue to simplify this you are going to have a y squared plus x squared or if you rearrange it uh, in terms of the alphabetical order you will have x squared is starting plus y squared over r squared so that's what we are having now if you go back to what we said according to the Pythagoras theorem and you link these two we said according to the Pythagoras theorem r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared if I come where there is x squared plus y squared and I'm substituting with r squared you can see that these two so which means this is actually equal to r squared so if I substitute that I will be having now this is equal to in this case r squared over r squared now what is r squared of r squared you divide there you are going to get a 1 so we can conclude uh, therefore that um, sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is equal to a 1 so this is the identity that I wanted to show you and how to prove that now on a side note I just want to show you again the most important thing about this identity uh, I call it the NB of this identity very important is how this identity can sometimes be given in an exam they like bringing it in different forms the first one is they can sometimes take cos to the other side such that it becomes sine squared theta is equal to 1 minus cos squared theta that is the first way they can bring it now also to identify that you can um, continue to square root both sides if you square root you will have sine theta is equal to square root of 1 minus cos squared theta that is another way they can bring it okay or it is also to identify that this can be written as sine squared theta is equal to difference of two squares if you square that you will have 1 minus cos theta and 1 plus cos theta so this is another way they can bring it since they can bring it in terms of sine you can write the same things in terms of cos whereby if you write it in terms of cos it will be cos squared theta is equal to 1 minus sine squared theta as well as cos theta if you square root both sides like that that's what I'm saying you will have equal to square root of 1 minus sine squared theta and cos theta I mean cos squared theta it can be also a difference of two squares there which is 1 minus sine theta and 1 plus sine theta so remember this is how they can actually bring uh, this particular identity in different forms and it is a duty to recognize uh, the form that they gave you so that you can see how to link this as the identity which is sine squared theta 
plus cos squared theta is equal to 1. I hope this was of benefit to you. As I said, remember to um, uh, like our channel, to subscribe to our channel, share this channel, and it will be of help also to others. We have come to the end of our lesson. Thank you. Thank you.